Airway management is the process of maintaining ventilation in a patient by using an artificial airway. This ensures that gas exchange can occur by establishing a link between the patient and the ventilator, which is important because we need to make sure that the patient's upper airway is free and clear of foreign substances so that air can flow into and out of the lungs. This is an important topic for respiratory therapy students, which is why we created this video to help by breaking down a sample TMC practice question on this topic. So if you're ready, let's get into it. What purpose does the pilot balloon of an endotracheal or tracheostomy tube serve during intubation and airway management? A. To minimize mucosal trauma during insertion. B. To protect the airway against aspiration. C. To monitor cuff integrity and pressure. Or D. To help with proper tube positioning. Do you know the answer? Well, let's break it down. The cuff of an endotracheal and tracheostomy tube is designed to help seal the airway for protection and facilitate positive pressure ventilation. However, hanging from the cuff is what's known as a pilot balloon, which is used to monitor the cuff's integrity and pressure once the tube is in place. It has a valve in which a syringe is attached for the inflation and deflation of the cuff. This can be done simply by pumping air into the cuff for inflation or removing air to deflate the cuff. You should know that, in general, the pilot balloon is not meant to help with tube positioning, preventing aspiration, or minimizing trauma. So by using what we know about pilot balloons, as well as the process of elimination, we could determine that the correct answer has to be C, to monitor cuff integrity and pressure. Real quick guys, do me a huge favor and hit the like button. Again, it really helps support the channel and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And while you're down there, go ahead and click the subscribe button as well because we have a ton of other videos on our channel that I think you will enjoy. Well, what'd you think about these practice questions? Was it helpful breaking them down in a simplified way? I hope so, and as I always say, definitely try to go through as many of these as possible when preparing for the TMC exam. Even if you don't use our practice questions, this is still a strategy that I recommend for all students. However, if you do want to get access to all of our premium practice questions, definitely consider checking out our TMC test bank. You can still take advantage of the temporary promotion that's going on by using the special link below. Also, if you want to get these practice questions and explanations sent straight to your inbox on a daily basis, you can consider signing up for our Practice Questions Pro membership which costs less than one of those fancy cups of coffee that all the kids are drinking these days. It's truly never been easier. All you have to do is sign up and we'll send the practice questions to your email address each and every day. Small tidbits of knowledge over time can add up to huge results. I'll drop a link to that as well right below this video down in the description. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Have a blessed day and as always, breathe easy my friend.